Exercise 27, Natural Phonics Primer at Universal Safety Net for Literacy with Donald Potter. I'm so happy to be back and do this lesson with you. This is going to start a series of three exercises on what's often called the R-controlled vowel. And uh, the thing that's important to remember is that the R changes the sound of the letter in front of it. So we're going to be doing AR as in car. And then sometimes the A by itself in just a few words like Paul, that's for dad, and then Ma for mom, Paul and Ma. Okay, so here we go. Number one, arch. An arch is um, the, something that holds a, like in a building, but you also can have an arch. I'll draw one over here. The arch kind of goes up like this. And you may, you may be familiar with an arch that looks like that one. Anyway, an arch. Next we have arc. An arc is like a small boat. Next we have, or a, could be a large boat, very large boat, in fact. Arm, your arm. Art for the, all the many years I taught, what, 30 some years I taught in the schools, I taught an art class, a fun art class called the Seven Principles of Perspective. And at the end of every year, I asked my students, what was the best thing we did this year? And most of them would say, oh, we loved your art class, Mr. Potter. But I would often have them write stories to go with the pictures they drew. Then we have bar, like a bar of soap, bark, the bark of a dog, or it could be bark on a tree. Barn, the cows are in the barn. Car, learn to drive a car. Card, Mr. Potter has a business card with his business on the front. Carl, name of a person, Carl. Cart is usually a two-wheeled, little two-wheeled wagon you can pull, pull around. Charm. Somebody that has charm is somebody you like to be around they, um, and uh, you say something or somebody is charming. Then you have a chart, like the blend uh, phonovisual phonics charts that I recommend. Dark, turn on the light so you won't be in the dark. Darn, darn is um, like when you make something with... Uh, um, Yarn like a sweater, and there's a needle called a darning needle. Then you have a dart. Maybe you like to play darts and throw the darts at the dart board. Little sharp things with uh, feathers on them. Far, far away. Farm. On the farm, you will have a barn. Hard. Farming is hard work. Harm. Do no harm to anybody. Don't hurt anybody. Harp. You can play a harp. Jar, like a jar of jam. Lard is kind of a form of uh, cooking fat. Fat that you use to cook. And um, you put it, 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 it melts and makes things taste good and keeps things from sticking to a pan. Lard. Now they use cooking oil mostly. Lark. It's a bird. Ma, short for mom. March, the soldiers march. Mark, get on your mark or put a mark on something. Marsh, marsh is like, could be like a swamp. Paul, short for father. Park, we like to go to the park and play. Scar, he, he cut himself and he had a little scar. Scarf. Women wear a scarf over their shoulders and around their neck to keep them warm. Shark. Look out for sharks. In the water, they can be dangerous. Sharp. Put a sharp edge on your knife. Smart. <clears throat> Mr. Potter's tutoring students are smart. Spark. One little spark can start a big fire. Star, the stars in the sky, 
The new Webb telescope is piercing, looking deep into the past. Starch. Starch is something you can wash your clothes in that makes them almost stand up, makes them um, where they don't get wrinkles in them. Uh, start. Get a good start at reading, and you'll always be a good reader. With Start with phonics and spelling. Tar on the roads, the black stuff on the roads, that when it gets hot, sometimes it gets sticky. You don't want to get on your shoes. That's called tar, and it's waterproof. Sometimes they put it on a roof, tar on a roof. Yard, keep your yard looking pretty. Mow your yard. And yarn, when you darn something up here, you can use yarn to make a beautiful sweater.